welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing very well and are having a great start to your new year so far. Today, I want to share with you a Trader Joe's grocery haul, so I hope you enjoyed this video. So if you don't know already, I am Canadian and as a Canadian, I don't have the luxury of a Trader Joe's at my convenience. So I do cross the border to head to the closest Trader Joe's to me. And I absolutely love shopping at Trader Joe's for snacks and butter and also spices. Anytime I'm out of spices, I head over to Trader Joe's to pick up some more and I tend to always find some new spices. All right, so I'll quickly show you the spices first and then move on to the snacks. The first spice I have here is the French thyme and this is what it looks like. And the next item I found was this one here. It's called chili lime. It's a seasoning blend and it says it's just the right amount of salt and heat. Next spice here is the curry powder. I have a curry recipe that I've saved and I can't wait to give it a try. The next item I have is this one here. It is the lemon pepper seasoning blend and it comes in this grinder form. And that's it for the spices. The last item that's in this bag is this item right here and it is the roasted gorgonzola flavored oven crisp crackers and they're baked crisp with unique roasted gorgonzola notes. I think this would be perfect for snacking with a little bit of apple butter. I think it would taste delicious. I absolutely love plantain chips so I purchased three baggies of them and this is what they look like and they land a little bit healthier than potato chips and they're really great for dipping as well. So if you have any hummus, some salsa or even some sour cream it would taste absolutely delicious with. And the next items are items that I always pick up whenever I go to Trader Joe's just because they taste so so delicious. So if you go to Trader Joe's you have to pick these up because they taste delicious. And they are these rice crackers right here. They're multi-seed with tamari soy sauce. They're just a simple rice cracker that's bite-sized and they're just really addictive and taste really nice as well. They're great on their own. You can also dip them but I just love snacking on them on their own. And I purchased three of them. I just had to stock up on them. All right, and the next item is this one here. It is the Trader Joe's Savory Thin Mini Edamame Crackers. These are really salty, so I just wanted to give you a heads up. They're just really nice to have around when you have a salty craving. The next item is something that I laid my eyes on as I was checking out. So I had to purchase a few of them so that myself and my sisters could try. And they are the Trader Joe's Presents the Crispy Crunchy Mochi Rice Nuggets. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm super excited to give it a try. And this is what the packaging looks like. I just think it looks so cute. The ingredients are quite simple on this snack. It's rice, palm oil, sea salt, and sunflower lecithin. And I just think that the packaging looks super adorable and I am super excited to give this a try. Now we're down to the last bag. And I'll start with what I see first. And it is the plain vegan cream cheese. It's a dairy-free alternative to a cream cheese spread. I've tried the Daya one and I absolutely loved it so I picked up the Trader Joe's version I'm sure it'll be just as nice all right and next is some butter I love purchasing butter from America because they portion it into quarters and it just makes it much more easier for baking. In Canada, we're only able to buy it in the big blocks and sometimes it just gets a little bit messy when you're cutting it and then just trying to repackage it up. I'd rather buy these ones because it's just much easier to handle when I'm baking and I purchased four of them and the orange ones are unsalted and the blue one is salted. The next items are some tea and I absolutely love tea. So the first tea I picked up was the organic ginger turmeric herbal tea. The tea I picked up was the Trader Joe's autumn apple roadworks tea and this is what the packaging looks like. And I purchased two of the autumn apple ones because I really love their autumn apple tea. It just has a really nice sweet flavor to it and it's nice to have as an after supper tea. These you can get in Canada as well, but since I was there and it was inexpensive, I decided to just throw it in my basket anyways. And they're just a rice cracker medley. I'm sure you guys have seen this in your local grocery store. So here's the close-up just in case you wanted to see what these rice crackers look like. And we're coming down to the end of it now. The next item I purchased was the Trader Joe's Thai Red Curry Sauce. And this tastes really, really good. Trader Joe's makes one of my favorite curries and I absolutely love this for convenience for when I am in a hurry and don't have a ton of time to prepare food. 
then I absolutely love throwing this on some chicken or fish or some steamed veggies. It tastes absolutely delicious. Last items from Trader Joe's are these Power Crunch bars. I didn't know that Trader Joe's carried them and when I saw them, I had to pick them up because I haven't tried uh, this flavor before. Here I have the peanut butter cream and this is what it looks like. And the last one is the triple chocolate. These are just really nice to have around for when you're feeling peckish or just as an after workout snack. It's just really, really convenient. All right, there's just two other items that I purchased in America that I wanted to share with you. And I purchased them from Target and they are these items right here. They are gold measuring cups and spoons. I just thought that they were too adorable to leave behind. And it's always nice to have cute tools to bake with. And that wraps up my Trader Joe's haul. I hope you enjoyed this video and it gave you some ideas for your next Trader Joe's visit. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and please like this video if you like this haul video. And I will see you in my next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!